What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you check out my previous video, Gennady Hanno, guys, Golovkin versus Chris Eubank Jr. Possible Erm, aka what when you see the ERM, just know that's Ego Rumor Mill. I did the video a week ago, almost 10,000 views, and I want to talk about and this is not going to be it says post fight in the title, but I guess you could say I lied because it's not going to be much of a post fight because I mean, for lack of a better word, who Chris Eubank just beat. Who is that guy? Tom Doran. And I tried my best to put things in perspective. So, first of all, let me give you a brief update of what happened. Anthony Joshua versus Dominic Brazil. That card is taking place O2 Arena in London today. Now, the main event hasn't happened yet, but on the undercard, you had Chris Eubank versus Tom Doran. Guy that, not with a big name, not much knockout power. I think he has seven knockouts, and he got destroyed by Chris Eubank. Chris Eubank knocked him down in the third round. Then he piled it on and knocked him down, I think, two times in the fourth round. And that was it. The referee stopped it, which was a rifle stoppage. It was clear, very evident that the Tom Duran dude was outmatched. So no point to see a guy get mercilessly beat up. And we already seen what happened in the Chris Eubank versus Nick Blackwell situation. We don't need any more of those situations if we can avoid them in boxing. So if if the guy couldn't compete, it was a rightful stoppage. Now, again, I put things in perspective. Tom Doran, it's not really like he's, his name is ringing bells at middleweight. I, did, I never even seen the dude before. But the good thing is Tom Doran was the, the previous fight and Chris Eubank got past it and he did what he was supposed to do with that level of opposition. And after, I really like this from Chris Eubank. I'm gonna read a direct quote from Eubank. He says, Gennady Golovkin, man, I'm coming for you. Everybody is scared of you for some reason. They think you're indestructible. You're not, I'm coming for you. And if I can't get you for some reason, then Saunders. I love that attitude. Um, some people can complain. You know what's weird about boxing fans? Sometimes when, when fighters call out another fighter that you like, people get mad like to me that's good and as you guys can see on this video that I'm kind of looping in the background I have no problem with Gennady Golovkin versus Chris Eubank a lot of people there's a lot of detractors especially right now because there's a lot of stuff swirling around in the boxing world if Golovkin faces Chris Eubank keep in mind this is probably not his first choice you got to be realistic it's no different than Deontay Wilder versus Alexander Povetkin. Some people are trying to flip that. Povetkin popped a dirty test. The WBC canceled his fight. He flew back home. Now he's fighting Chris Ariola, a substitute, a plan B. This was not the initial person, right? So a lot of people, and they're namely, from what I've seen, diehard Canelo fans. They're saying, oh, who is Triple G beat? Now, I was making videos along with other people like Dante's Boxing Nation, and we were calling for years ago when it was relevant, when it was in talks, a Gennady Golovkin fight versus Andre Ward. I got nonstop criticism for that fight. Ward's inactive, Triple G will run through Ward, all this stuff, and that's people didn't even care about the fight. A lot of people. There were some that agreed with me, but I, when I request that fight, for Golovkin's resume, they say, oh, you're just hating on Golovkin, things of that sort. Now, Ward's already moved up. He's in a new division. That's not even an issue anymore because we already know what happened with the Ward Triple G situation, and he's going on to different uh, path. He moved up. He's at light heavyweight now. Got through Sullivan Barrera fighting Alexander Brand, and then it's at, and then he's fighting Sergey Kovalev. So I could care less. Not that I could care less, but it's already over. I'm not going to cry over spilt milk, right? And now all of a sudden... I'm seeing Canelo fans, since he's under fire for fighting Liam Smith and stuff, now they're turning their backs on Triple G, saying, who is he beat? Look at Gennady Golovkin's resume. And things that were being said about questioning Golovkin's level of competition, but they were nowhere to be found during the Triple G Ward saga when, when that was in talks. When I was saying, what about Triple G's resume in comparison to a guy like Andre Ward? Clearly, Ward would be the best name Golovkin's fought. They were nowhere to be found. Now that Canelo is under fire, you see a lot of these radical fans who are all of a sudden trying to come down on Triple G and make him look like the bad guy in other situations. Now, again, the reason I'm saying this is if Golovkin fights Chris Eubank, that wasn't his first choice. I don't even know if that was his second choice because he probably would. Chris Eubank, to my knowledge, doesn't have a belt. 
Billy Joe Saunders has a belt and Danny Jacobs has a has a belt, right? And it doesn't look like either of those guys want to fight him, at least right now. Danny Jacobs is probably rematching Sergio Mora, a guy he already knocked out. And you can't blame that on Golovkin. Because because he doesn't want to, there's some of the champions don't want to fight him. And not even, okay, that's Sanders and, and Jacobs. The main person that would make the mega fight, the biggest fight of out of all, is Canelo. And he gave his belt to Golovkin. He just said, here, here you go, born ready, here, here's my belt. I'm not dealing with these artificial deadlines. So you can't flip this on Golovkin if he does face a Chris Eubank Jr. at all. Because Saunders doesn't look like he wants it. Jacobs doesn't look like he wants it. And Canelo, the cash cow, the number one person, and the number one person that most boxing fans, die hard and casual, want to see Golovkin face next, is Canelo. It's a meaningful fight. They both have action styles. They both have big fan bases. It's marketable, makes business sense. So it's funny to see some of the diehard Canelo fans or whoever fans who are trying to come down on Triple G for different things like that. And you can't do that because it's just, like I said, with Wilder Areola. Areola wasn't his first choice. His first choice was to go over to Russia and try to knock out Povetkin. That didn't happen through no fault of Wilder. And if Golovkin fights Eubank, then it's not his fault that other people avoided him he's trying to get the resume that he wants right and that he he needs now it's just how bad is he wanted the only criticism you can say for Golovkin is at age 34 how bad do you want to make your mark do you want to challenge yourself and move up to 168 which it's it's even that for a Canelo fan you can't even do that because Canelo is moving down to 154 and you, you can't force Golovkin to move up to 168 for better challenges, but then you're not willing to, to force Canelo to move from his comfort zone of 154, 155, and he don't want to fight no one at 160. So for for the Canelo fans trying to bash Triple G, you're cornered. No way, no shape or form can you blame Triple G for a Eubank Jr. fight or a fight like that, you know what I mean? And Eubank Jr., you've seen it. his last couple fights, I think have been knockout. His dad is a legend. Um, so he has a good corner. You can't say Eubank Jr. is more of a mismatch than a Liam Smith fight because we at least seen a guy who's currently a champion in Billy Joe Saunders fight Eubank. We seen the Nick Blackwell. We seen the Doran and and guys like that. We seen that Eubank Jr. is always in shape. So there's no way you could tell me that Triple G versus Eubank Jr. is a worse fight than Canelo versus Liam Smith. And here's the kicker before I get out of here. The kicker is this. From my sources, what I heard, Triple G is willing to go over to London, where Eubank is from. He's obviously a British fighter. He's willing to go over to the UK for that fight because it makes sense over there, more sense than bringing Eubank over here. So I, I haven't heard the actual venue for Canelo Liam Smith, but I will buy five Canelo shirts and hand them out to I'll have some kind of raffle if Canelo fights Liam Smith in the UK. And I know that's not going to happen. But if it does, I'll be the bigger person. And, and you guys heard it. You have my word. I will buy five Canelo Born Ready shirts and hand them out to boxing fans if Canelo fights Liam Smith. If it's announced that when he fights Liam Smith, he's fighting him over in the UK. I will I will do that. But I really doubt that is the case. I really doubt Canelo is going to fight him in in UK. Like Golovkin's willing to go fight Eubank Jr. in the UK. So it is what it is. You can't compare the situations. And then if you do want to compare the situations, like Golovkin's laughing, it makes me laugh because there is no comparison with these two situations. And if you really want to compare it, we'll get all the facts out on the table, new media style. Let me know what you guys think. I have no problem with Triple G versus Eubank Jr. I think Eubank Jr., he's always in shape. He has a, um, a phenomenal work rate. So it'll, it'll be a, a different look for a Golovkin to see how he deals with someone who might even be an aggressor and is a bit bigger than the Curtis Stevens because Curtis Stevens was able to back Golovkin up. So let's see. Still not a worse fight than Canelo Liam Smith. Let me know what you guys think. Share the video, like the video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sun and All. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.